This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of US engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com FIRST to register your team. FRC Premiere Night is back on Saturday, February 25th. Submit a unique video showcasing your team's charged up robot progress by Thursday, February 23rd at First Updates Now slash Premiere 23. Premiere Night is a great way to engage with the community. Get more information and submit your video at firstupdatesnow.com slash Premiere 23. And welcome to the Open Alliance Show. Welcome back from week one, 948 Energy uh, coming out of the uh, PNW. So excited to have... Uh, both of you back as well, too, uh, Taylor and Tyga, to talk more about some of your progress uh, intakes uh, as well, some of the programming updates, lots of programming stuff, uh, and especially auto balance. I'm very much forward, uh, looking forward to seeing uh, on your team. So if you don't mind just refreshing everybody, let us know what you do on the team, and then we'll hop right into all the awesome updates uh, that Energy has to bring. Yeah, so hi, I'm Taylor. I'm the CTO of NRG. Uh, hi, I'm Tyga. I'm the systems and documentation lead of NRG. And, uh, and what do you guys want to start out with? Uh, because we have lots, lots to cover with it. I even see a file called Interpreted Dance, so we'll have to find out what the heck that means uh, for your team as well. So I'm excited to see uh, everything with your robot. Tell us about what, what you want to start out with. Yeah, so we'll start out with the Interpretive Dance. Um, and we're going to go through our robot CAD. And um, our ro robot's, like, partially built at the moment. <laughs> but Interpretive Dance, you did learn about last, last show. That okay. was our weirdest intake um and we decided to go with that one to put on the robot um and so tyga can walk you through how that works yeah so um the interpretive dance has a whole bunch of compliant real rollers just to get the cone into a known orientation which for us is the base side up so originally with these uh we actually had um, more space in between the wheels and to bridge those gaps we had these uh, 3D printed TPU, um, yeah, spacers. Uh, these, we got like 30 of them, but they ended up not gripping the uh, cone that well. So we're just going with a whole bunch of wheels. And now we have a whole bunch of rings that we could say use at a ring toss at competition or something. Yeah. So, um, interpretive dance, because when we explain it, you have to explain it very like a dance because the cone basically goes in um and then it can go in from any orientation off the I'm floor and then it <laughs> like it catches on the sides uh with it the with the base of the cone and so then it goes up um but currently we are uh struggling to work on how to catch the cone once it comes through our um intake because it's coming in really fast and our cone is coming in base first but also flying in um different directions after it comes in base first so we're working on some kind of like backstop for that right now. I do remember the interpreted dance. And I said, I do remember there was a name, but you guys have such uh, uh, creative names for all of your uh, mechanisms as you go through. So as you're looking at uh, as solving, uh, you know, that, that issue uh, with your robot team, uh, what are some potential solutions that you come up with? Have you had a chance to test anything out on that front? Um, yeah. So we've got like some, some hooks, uh, some claws that kind of grip the cone in at the base or just grip in general. Maybe like, like Taylor said, a backstop to kind of stop it from flying up. There's a lot that we've been kind of tweaking and prototyping with this and hopefully we'll have something soon. Yeah. Um, but like we're in the, everything's prototyped, but everything needs to be re-prototyped. So we're in that kind of stage right now. And um, I guess our next prototype is uh, the escalator, which is a leaning elevator. So we uh, titled it the escalator. Yep. So it's it's a pretty, uh, it's a standard um, single stage elevator using the T-slot extrusions. And it's got a four bar linkage to give it um, quite a bit of motion. Uh, so we have your cat up on, on screen right now uh, as well, too. So is that the current uh, iteration or implementation that you're talking about? Yep. It's a little uh, rough at the moment, but that is what we have for right now. Sure. 
Um, and then CAD wise, uh, where kind of your next steps uh, in CAD? Are you looking at getting everything designed before manufacturing, or how does that process or progress going to work for you? So at the beginning of build season, we came in with the idea we're going to CAD for we're going to prototype and we're going to CAD first, and then we're going to build, and everything is going to work out perfectly. And um, as build season does, it did not turn out perfectly, and um, we are a little bit behind. And so right now we're kind of like CADing and building our practice robot, but hopefully we can wrap up our CAD by working out all the like issues with um, the backstop and then the placing mechanism and working all those out before we build our final robot. So practice robot kind of winging it and then comp bot, hopefully we will have thought it out beforehand. But, I mean, that's a, that's a totally kind of valid process, right? Use CAD to kind of get the rough geometry, figure it out um, as you go during the prototype and then build the final one. Um, what's your timeline look like on, on all of this? So is it like you've got your prototype one going now, you've got kind of the CAD in the direction of the final one. When do you kind of expect this all to come together? Um, see, it was supposed to all come together like this upcoming weekend. Um, but it probably won't. <laughs> so we are kind of shifting things and um, trying to make everything move faster, but also making it make sense. Um, also crossing our fingers and hoping that it works. But um, right now we are working on building everything and making sure that it all like comes together. It's a lot of rookie built stuff since our team is um, like bigger and then we try to include all our rookies. So that comes with the mistakes of its own. And then as we're working with half a CAD, um, that also comes with some mistakes, but hopefully our robot is done by Valentine's day. And then um, it goes to programming. And then after programming, pro our programming team has been working really hard. So it hopefully shouldn't take them that long to, um, is it deploy code? to the to the um new robot and then um we're working on our comp bot so right now we are trying to start building that but we are going to anodize in our chemistry teachers fume hood and we're just waiting on um our tubing to arrive by the way uh typical upper class in blaming the uh, uh freshmen and new students for stuff not being done but that's all right so. <laughs> learning experience. There you go. Right. Um, how about autonomous wise? Where's some of your progress on that? Uh, I know when we uh, kind of tease in the show, uh, you have a video on some of your balancing you're doing and also your paddling. What do you want to talk about there? Yeah. So um, first we've got uh, our 2022 robot. Uh, it's been auto balancing. So um, yeah. So we've gotten pretty consistent auto balances. They've started to get faster and faster as we go. And we just have a Navex on board to kind of, you know, use the angle of the gyro. And once it stabilizes, we give it a little more. And yeah. So Greg, this one is one of the first auto balances that we've seen on, on OA show. What do you make of this so far? I, I think it looks great. Um, I, I think, you know, teams that come out of the gate swinging with auto balance are going to be incredibly valuable to the alliances that they are on. So. <laughs> You know, even even if the interpretive dance is gonna is gonna throw uh throw throw things around, you know, you'll you'll lock in on uh, some of those points. Um, do you think you're gonna use the auto balance at both the beginning of the the beginning of the the match in autonomous and the end, or is it mainly just for autonomous? It's probably just gonna be for autonomous because of you know other robots climbing is going to kind of throw things for a loop. And so we've gotten, we've also gotten a little bit of drivers on balancing and it's worked out pretty well. That's really cool. Now, uh, earlier, uh, earlier, by the way, uh, Taylor, I, I felt like I cut you off a little bit when talking about the auto balance. Is there anything else you wanted to add on onto that? Uh, yeah. So one thing that's kind of like weird for us, or I guess it's different is that our swerve is mounted from the bottom and it, our 2022 bot, we were just, originally had it mounted on the top but then we moved it to the bottom because um on our practice field that we built um the, like piece of plywood is like kind of thick and if it's mounted on the top I swear it can't get up so for us it's kind of interesting to see how that'll play out at an actual match or field field um and it's done our swerve tread has done some real damage to the wood the wood 
Uh, let's talk about uh, your swerve a little bit more as you go through. Uh, we have a video that's of your auto pathing on there. So is that what your iteration for the 2023 season is going to look like? Yep. That's uh, that's our base. That's actually a testing base. Um, and it's got the nice big cutout for the interpretive dance and all the electronics. Very you would cool. be happy to know that we've named it Dodo. Dodo. Because all, right. all the other mechanisms all right. are extinct. <laughs> Fair enough. So, uh, at Energy, as you're looking uh, at wrapping up here on this show, um, where are you looking at uh, getting in the next couple of weeks uh, with your team? And, uh, uh, like, what are your kind of your main next steps you really want to accomplish? Uh, you got a little bit of time before your, your next event, right? Week three on uh, Bonnie Lake and PW. But obviously, it's always great to, to get a robot as close as that as possible in, instead of right before you know, your event takes place. So, what do you want to get done next? So hopefully before week three, we're going to have our two robots, um, practice bot and um, comp bot. And the idea is that as soon as we are able to get both robots um, up and running, we're able to switch between drive team and programming. So if we need, we can go to um, one of the local teams and use their practice field while the other one is at our shop practicing like either driving or programming. But right now, our main thing is getting everything cut and uh built i guess on our practice robot for um the sparta bots robot reveal that's coming up so we want to be ready for that and then having a robot for a call is great um our business team is also working on awards so we're currently working on woody flowers which is due this week in dean's list and our impact award sounds like you, you've got a, a full uh, a full load of stuff to do uh bef before uh, the end of uh the build um but uh, yeah, I mean, anything else that you want to share with us? Well, I mean, you've you've got your hands full with a lot of different mechanisms. But anything else that you want to share uh, with the Open Alliance community? Um, Tiger, you got anything? I mean, we'd love to figure out how we would end up using these uh, rings, but otherwise, yeah. All right. So, so is, CAD, is the CAD for those rings out there, like in your on shape? Yeah, we can. Uh, we can so, drop them in. So I feel like you need to drop them into your on shape and then just like post your okay. self by thread and say, Hey, anybody got any creative ideas for this? And then, you know, throw up a uh, team t shirt or uh, or or something, you know, as a prize. And I, I bet you'll get you'll get all sorts of craziness with those with those parts. Yeah, right now we're thinking a ring toss with the with the yellow cones. So we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting to see uh, teams trying to do um, cone flip competitions at the events, you know, like where people throw throw the cones from like the the, the lines and try to land them and things like that. There's some very carnival game uh, uh, things that human players. Can I do see for shutting that down so fast for some reason, but <laughs> I hope it does happen. So, uh, Tyler, any, anything's possible at the Las Vegas event. There, yeah, there, y'all. Yeah, don't tell them that. So, uh, perfect. So, uh, 940 Energy, thank you so much uh, for giving us those updates. Uh, I love love the progress in your robot course. Love the naming as well too. Congrats on the auto balancing. What a cool thing to show uh, here on Open Line Show. And make sure you're following uh, 948's uh, Bill blog and of course on the OA Discord as well. So, thanks a lot and uh, good luck the rest of the way. We'll see you soon. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for first teams. Over 80% of US engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first to register your team. FRC Premiere Night is back on Saturday, February 25th. Submit a unique video showcasing your team's charged up robot progress by Thursday, February 23rd at First Updates Now slash Premiere 23. Premiere Night is a great way to engage with the community. Get more information and submit your video at firstupdatesnow.com slash Premiere 23. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.